It was the penultimate stage of Itzulia, the tour of the Basque Country. Stage 5, taking us from Zamudio to Malabia, over 163.8 kilometers in the beautiful province of Biscay. Five categorized climbs, including a very difficult, brutally steep run to the line, with gradients pitching up at 17%. It was sure to be a tough day. A big break dominated proceedings early on. Marc Soler, Lucas Hamilton, Kelly Ellison were away with Carlos Rodriguez. Meanwhile, Jumbo Bisma was setting the pace behind. And then on a nasty corner, disaster struck for Lucas Hamilton of Team Bike Exchange, hit the Arnco and went down the other side. But thankfully, he was okay, although he later had to withdraw from the race. Another illustration of how dangerous cycling can be. Meanwhile, there was difficulties up front, a disagreement about who's gonna share the pacemaking between Marc Soler and Carlos Rodriguez. But eventually, Marc Soler realized he had to press on alone. And at this point, he was the leader of the race virtually. Rodriguez though, was having none of it and refusing to work. A couple of other teams decided to pick up the pace behind, including Bora Hansgrohe and Bahrain Victorious, and the lead began to come down. On the run into the line, at the finish in Malavia, Quickstep Alpha Vinyl also started to pursue and the gap was starting to slip. Still, Rodriguez was sat behind. Then on the final ascent of the Calabieta climb, it was Remco Evnopol, sat in second position overall, that attacked and took an elite group of riders clear, including Enric Mas, Alexander Vlasov, Dani Martinez, Jon Izegile, and also Jonas Vingegaard. Pelo Bobao was also there. And then, in a big move at the top of the climb, Carlos Rodriguez attacked Soler and went clear. The 21-year-old Spaniard looking for his first professional win. And meanwhile, Primoz Roglic was stranded. He'd missed this move, and the gap at this point was nearly a minute back to the bunch, being led by Sebastian Reichenbach of Groupama FDJ. 1,500 metres to go, the climb is still to come. Rodriguez had a lead of 30 seconds over the group behind. Vlasov attacking on the steep, slippery slopes as the rain began to fall. Rodriguez hauling his frame up the slopes, nearly lost his grip as he crossed the line, but took a marvellous, scintillating victory, his first of his pro career. Second place for Danny Martinez giving an Ineos a 1-2, but there was a coming together of Vingago and Vlasov on the climb. Hardly any grip at all. Slippery conditions, meaning both Vlasov and Vindigo had to run across the line. Meanwhile, the lead in the race had changed hands. Primoz Roglic, a little bit weaker today, struggling in the peloton and finishing about a minute and a half down, meaning he'd lost the lead to Remco Evnopol. But what a win for this man. A magnificent and important victory for Carlos Rodriguez that he'll remember for the rest of his life. So Rodriguez took the stage ahead of Dani Martinez. Then we have Evnopol, Izegeli, Mas, Bilbao, Vlasov, Vingago, Sole, and Barcelo rounding out the top 10 on a challenging stage. It meant that Remco Evnopol traded blue for yellow and heading into the final stage of what has been a marvellous race, he will be in the yellow jersey. Remco Evnopol leads then ahead of Martinez, Izegeli, Vlasov, Bilbao, Vingago, Mas, Roglic, Yates, and Marc Soler moving in to the top 10. So the route of the final stage of this race is a tough one, taking us from Ibar to the Alto de Arate, 135 kilometers packed with three and a half thousand meters of elevation, including seven categorized climbs, including three first category ascents. This will be where the race is decided. Do not miss it.